When a couple of days ago I reported that Tesla's 4680 battery cell pilot production line hit 70 to 80% yield, some of you guys have brought great comments under that video report and I want to present those to you, to our community and the general idea is that I think we Tesla will find a way to get the 4060 cells to 90% yield and I'm going to tell you what you guys think about what yield it needs to have in order to have commercialization. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news that happens during hours. So according to Tesla investor and host of YouTube's YouTube channel HyperChange, Galileo Russell, the production yield of the 4680 battery cells has reportedly risen to about 70 to 80%, up from just about 20% last year. This means that a decreasing portion of the 4680 cells produced today are seeing issues and Tesla's pilot battery line at Cato Road is starting to close in on the acceptable yields of factories like Giga Nevada. From your comments guys, I understood that the acceptable commercialized uh, yield should be from 90 to 95%. Now keep in mind that Tesla is continuously improving product lines. 70 to 80% today came from 20 to 30% initial pilot runs a year ago. They will find a way to get to 90% or higher. Also remember that Elon Musk said prototypes are easy, production is the hard part. Since there is an engineering issue rather than a concept issue, the issue will probably be fixed and I think very soon. All should be well. When Elon Musk was confronted by cost issues in the SpaceX program, he reduced the cost from $26 billion to $1 billion to restart the space program using existing engineering fixes and modifications and etc. The same should apply with the 4680 manufacturing process. Now, one of you guys says that I feel like the 4680 production development is going Going to follow the same path as the for, um, Raptor engine. Very slow development at the beginning, but at some point they will bump those cells out of the line fast. Optimists get things done, pessimists accomplish nothing. You have to aim for the stars uh, to reach the treetops, right? Now, if you look at Elon Musk's statement in April period that it was a year to 18 months out, that level of yield seems pretty promising as a mark along the way if it was 20% last year. It depends on how many failure points in process you have to engineer out in the process. Since they are recovering on a cool, um, unqualified cell materials, they have the option to stockpile some good ones for key projects need earlier than full production. And that percentage will hopefully inch upward. So some doing some linear programming has a good, uh, someone doing some linear programming has a good model telling them when uh, when to uh, where to go it point point the point is doable uh, for tesla to achieve a higher yield with its 4680 um batteries and some of that might be dependent on cost of materials and not just on fixing process engineering issues but that's a huge jump from 20 percent to 78 percent assuming whoever provided that is actually in the know versus some cafeteria rumor now the problem is coming up with brilliant things is easy putting them into mass production is hard when no one in the united states goes into engineering indeed a lot le less and fewer and fewer people go into engineering these days. More people do that in India and China apparently. Now, while I'm looking forward to 4680 battery cells based battery packs, I doubt any current orders will get them. That means I doubt any current Tesla orders will get them. They're more looks like they're going to be either the current battery or LFP batteries, which are in the news these days coming from cattle. It is more likely once Tesla gets enough cells to use in cars, they will an extra trim level that includes the 4680 battery cells with a bit of extra range. I hope I'm wrong because waiting until January for a car with the existing tech is frustrating. I suppose I could always delay my order, says one Tesla uh, reservation holder. Let's see what happens the rest of the year. 
Now, Talk News Electric Vehicle contributor Dick McManus, who regularly contributes comments on the Talk News YouTube channel, says, As far as I could tell, the rumor about the 2170 batteries replacing the 4680s is just that, a single online rumor. While I'm sure that Tesla does have a contingency plan to use the 20, 2170 batteries if they can't make enough good 4680 batteries, there is only one unconfirmed rumor saying that this is actually going to happen. On the other side of the spectrum, I also think that a self-processed Tesla investor's opinion about increased 4680s yields hitting 70 to 80% is also just an informed guess. I seriously believe that Tesla needs to release the German uh, gen second generation Model Y using the 4680 batteries. They have long hyped up the special and unique design of the German built Model Y. I agree with Dean here. And he says, and not following through with that promise would seriously hurt Tesla sales. I think that the whole 4680 output of the Kado Road battery factory so far has been stockpiled for future use in the German Model Ys. We should know for sure in just a few months time when they start uh, the Generation 2 Model Y production in Giga Berlin factory. Friends, uh, there is also a concern that bigger sales can create create heat issues and people hope that cooling is improving also. My understanding is that cooling will be on the ends of the batteries where more heat is generated and where heat transfer is better. The older cells have cooling channels in between them which limit packing density as well. Additionally, the tabless electrodes will generate less heat due to improved electron flow. I am uh, optimistic on that. The tabless design weeks heat away from the cell much more efficiently. The entire end of the cell can conduct heat because there are tabs along the entire edge of the roll. Why they, they call it tabless is beyond me. Now, we have talked about Elon time in the past in this report, in the original report, friends. In the past, one person from our community said, in my company, we looked back at history of product development and found that Elon time, that's in quote, produced better results. Different units in the company had used two basic development philosophies. One relied on engineers coming up with a schedule and then ex executing on the schedule. The second model involved setting a desired product release date and then shooting for it. Even though it, in most cases it missed the mark, it still out executed the first approach. Elon time works and do you um, do you think we would be where we are today with electric vehicles or SpaceX achievements if we used traditional approaches? You know, putting the right checks in each step of the manufacturing process will change the finished product at noticeable breakpoints and possibly give the opinion to change chemistries, maybe even in uh, productions. Okay, so they have increased the yield, whatever that means, from 20% to 70, 80%. The yield of the 4680 batteries. Meaningless unless we know what percentage yield is normally acceptable, right? Believe it or not, some of us aren't familiar with manufacturing engineering specs. Uh, the answer to this point from one person from our community is 95%, maybe to go into production. So Tesla may need 95% yield on the 4680 batteries in order to go for to production and to continue uh, refinements to fractions or percent as they go. Yield is usable item from process by percentage. Sales that meet performance and structure requirements specs. So I think battery safety is going to be an increasing factor. Just look at the total recall of the Chevy Bolt batteries at over a billion dollars. Overall, Tesla engineers are among the best in the world. This is not a, an issue and will be easily solved in my opinion. Tesla's 4680 battery cells are better than any other battery batteries currently held by anybody else. 70 to 80 percent yield is good but not good enough. Mass market industry yield goal is six sigma or three scrap unit every million unit built. Increased range will do less to advance EVs than reduce cost, weight and improved efficiency, especially when battery production constrains EV production. Friends question is how good is 70 to 80 percent, right? Actually is throwing away 20 to 30 30% of all produced batteries seems a lot to me. 
but don't really know what it, that what type of typical yield for a battery plant is any number on that if you so of course the factual cells would not be thrown away but recycled so 75 percent yield means your production cost is about 33 percent higher given that tesla's estimate is that the new battery will reduce cost by half than 70 percent yield is good enough for mass production what do you think friends about this let me know please your thoughts this is armen harayan from torquenews.com um, if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news and also please um, ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story friends you know when you come to our channel every day you give me your valuable time and uh, listening to this video in return i want to leave you with the lasting value every time you come to our channel in the book of proverbs it says ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value but righteousness delivers from that the lord does not let the righteous go hungry but he towards the craving of the wicked this is important to remember therefore friends let's do the right things in everything we do in this life in everything we say in everything we think you will never go hungry if you do that treating people right in other words treating people the way you would want to be treated by them have a great day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and i'll see you soon in our next report